Okay, so um, in this video, I'm going to be uh, calibrating the uh, speedo healer for my bike because uh, just recently I changed the uh, sprockets and um, usually after you change the sprockets your speedometer is way off um, now originally from the factory um, um, I had to recalibrate it also um, as it was off by about uh, I believe it was 10% uh, or up to 10% I believe the exact value was 8% for my bike um, but um, now that I'm riding it with the new sprockets, I went one down in the front. Um, I'm guessing it's more closer to 20% off. Uh, now this video is not really a review on the uh, Speedo Healer itself, um, but rather uh, just the procedures on uh, setting it. And it's pretty simple. All of their steps are highlighted on the manufacturer's website, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but basically this is where I mounted it. Um, and I've had the Speedo Healer since I've had this bike, so quite a while. I mean, I've had it set before. Uh, so anyway, the first step you want to do is to make sure that your Speedo Healer is in um, transparent mode. And what this is, um, is basically no, um, no percentage factor. So to tell um, that your uh, Speedo Healer is in transparent mode, you just turn on your bike and you quickly look. Um, no, I actually didn't catch it, so I'll do that again. Okay, and you'll see A0, which means nothing's registered in the in the bank. No normally, your um, sp uh, percentage factor is shown upon uh, upon boot up. So um, now, if yours showing a number, that means you have something saved in the memory bank. So to clear it, you just press the select and set button at the same time and hold it. And you keep holding it until you see the E, and that means the memory has been cleared. Okay, and that's it. And now you're ready to uh, uh, you're ready for the next step. Um, also, something just came to mind. Um, if you have this particular bike, a uh, 2008 Kawasaki ZX6R or 2007 model, both the same. Um, and you, if you do decide to mount it in this position where I have it here, uh, make sure you. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, make sure you cut a little groove here so then the buttons don't get pushed. Um, if your buttons get pressed while it's on the bike, um, it'll just confuse the system. It'll just make, uh, it'll just basically put a check engine light on your, uh, on your motorcycle and you'll be riding around with no speedometer. So um, that's just a little tip here. So uh, this is my setup. I have my GPS to gauge the uh, correct speed. I'm going to compare it to my speedometer right there. And then I'm going to use the two figures and uh, using the software provided on the manufacturer's website, on the Speedo Healer's website, it'll ca it will calibrate, or it will cal calculate the uh, calibration factor. So, for example, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be traveling at 100 kilometers an hour on the highway according to the GPS and I'm going to be uh, looking at my speedometer reading also which, um, expect, which is expected to be higher. Um, my speedometer could be showing 120 or 125 kilometers and then you would plug those into the software it will show a percentage value. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, just trying out this new camera and uh, microphone setup. Basically, um, it's an HD camera with so it's basically a camera with a external mic option, and I have an external mic plugged into it. So hopefully the road noise and the wind noise isn't too overwhelming for the mic. Otherwise, I'll have to do a uh, audio or a voiceover. So I'm just right now. I'm just making my way to just making my way onto the highway. 
and again um, also I apologize for not being able to show the uh, speedometer or the GPS it's kind of sucks yeah because for me to show all of the uh, instrumentation I gotta juggle a lot of things around which I just don't have the time for that So right now the speedometer is showing uh, 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, in actual fact, it's about 60. Okay, so I'm holding the GPS speed steady at 100, um, showing me 118 on my speedometer, so... Yeah, so the one tooth down in the front sprocket really made a difference. I mean, um, and that's just the front sprocket. I haven't done anything to the rear. So the next step, um, get back on your, get onto your computer and um, go to the manufacturer's website, which is um, HealTechElectronics.com. and then probably want to turn the music off. Okay, um, and then click on their speedo healer section. Online calculator. Um, select your model, mine is a version 4, um, and you want precise because you know the uh, actual speed from the GPS. Anyway, just uh, continue. So the value indicated on your meter, so um, my meter is 118 kilometers an hour and the actual value, yeah, it's 100 and click generate and then it'll just generate the instructions on um, exactly how to set your speedo healer such as pressing what button and what values to enter um, and my uh, factor, my calibration factor is minus 15.3% so I'm back at my bike with the instructions printed out um, turn on the bike and then uh, the first step is to uh, press both buttons simultaneously until the L shows up okay and then press the set button repeatedly until the minus is blinking and then select um, press set repeatedly until one that's the first digit select the second digit is one f is a uh, is five that's the second digit and the third digit is three so that gives a uh, calibration factor of minus 15.3 percent and then press select to save it and it should be saved And as you saw that, um, it flashed minus 153. 
that is the correct value and uh, you're all said and done. Uh, so that concludes it for uh, this Speedo Healer video. Uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Oh, um, I also like to add, um, you may want to uh, get back on the road with your GPS and check it again, uh, just to make sure that it is reading correctly. Um, now if it's plus or minus one uh, kilometer an hour, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Also, um, the readings may differ as your tire wears out. With a brand new tire, the rubber is a lot thicker than a worn out tire, so you might get a little bit of discrepancy there. Um, I know my tires are halfway worn out, so it should give a good average between the two. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you found this helpful, um, and rate, uh, comment if you have any questions.